click on the subscribe button and remember to press the bell icon for regular notifications from our digital blogger hello friends welcome to our digital blogger today we're going to compare india infoline with the discount broker fires india infoline as you know is a full service stock broking house of india in this comparison we will talk about multiple aspects including company background account opening and maintenance rates brokerage charges exposure provided across segments research quality customer service trading platforms and some of the features that can help you to figure out which of these two stock brokers is a better choice for you let's get started So starting with the company, Background Fires is a discount stock broker that basically means it's going to charge you much less brokerage rates but also gonna give you less uh, services too. India Infoline full service broker, brokerage is going to be high but service quality is going to be better as well. India Infoline incorporated in the year 1995 so it's been 22-23 years since its establishment. Fires is pretty uh, new in nature, 2015 was when it, is, it was launched. Number of branches is one that's the head office of Fires India Infoline has presence across 4400 sub brokers in franchise locations across different parts of India. Indian Infoline is a member of NSC, BSC, MCX and NCDEX while Fires runs a membership with only BSC and NSC. So certainly the background is much richer in uh, case of India Infoline as compared to Fires. In terms of account opening, there's nothing that Fires charges you for the trading or the DMIT account. IFL charges you 750 rupees for the trading account and 555 rupees for the DMIT account. In case of AMC, which is going to be a recurring cost every year, Fire charges you 400 rupees for the maintenance of the trading account, while IFL goes up to 300. So at the upfront, certainly India Infoline looks much more expensive as compared to Fire Stars. Then we have brokerage, another big differentiator. Now Fire charges you maximum 20 rupees per executed order in your trades. So let's say if you uh, place a trade of 1 lakh rupees or 10 lakh rupees, irrespective of that, you're gonna be charged 20 rupees per executed order. Indian Infoline on the other hand goes up to 0.5% of your trade value. So it has a direct correlation with your trade uh, amount. So for example, if you trade for 1 lakh in this case, 500 rupees for delivery and 50 rupees for intraday segments. We can also use a brokerage calculator to understand the whole thing um, from a 360 degree point of view. Let's do that. So let's take the example of India Infoline first. Now in this case you can see uh, there are multiple segments you can choose from. In this particular demonstration we'll go with uh, equity delivery. Let's say you bought a share for 500 rupees, you sold it for 600, you got around 100 shares uh, of such nature. The state in this case is Maharashtra because the stamp duty part uh, has a direct correlation with the state you choose. So calculate, click on that 0.5% is the brokerage rate and based on that uh, these are the different values calculated. Now you can see that in this particular trade you make out 9,225 rupees. Now this has 550 rupees as brokerage, 110 in STT and around 100 rupees as GST. We can do a similar calculation for fires as well. So you can see that this is a fires uh, brokerage calculator now. Sorry for that. So if you just scroll down a bit, once you do that, select this segment of equity delivery, put the same value so that you get the exact uh, similar level idea. Uh, in that case we bought 100 shares, let's do that here and click on uh, Maharashtra. Once you do that, 40 rupees is your brokerage, 24 buy, 24 sell. And in this case, as compared to India and full line, you bag a little higher profit at 9,827 because your brokerage is lesser. The overall charges you can see that uh, uh, there are a big difference, 9,225 as compared to 9, it's around 600 rupees you bag more in this particular trade if you use the services of fires. 
Anyway, let's move ahead from brokerage and talk about exposure or leverage. Now again, this is risky in nature. If you do not understand its risks and complications, do not use it. But if you do, if you understand how it works, then yes, exposure is something that can help you to amplify your profits. At the same time, it can negate your losses as well. Now in this case, FIRES gives you 15 times for intraday and 3 times for delivery. IFL has 20 times for intraday. In other segments, more or less, uh, FIRES is slightly better. So it comes down to the point which particular trading segment you're looking to put your money into. Generally, what people do is uh, they look for intraday, uh, deliver, uh, rather intraday exposure at a higher level. In this case, IFL beats uh, FIRES with the 20 time exposure as compared to 15. Now, the way it works is very simple. Let's say you have 10,000 rupees in a trading account balance. FIRES will allow you to trade up to 1.5 lakh as compared to Indian flying that goes up to 2 lakh rupees. Now, if you talk about customer service, discount brokers are generally not known for providing high quality customer service. So is the case with FIRES. They just have email support and phone. That is the only way you can get in touch with these guys. Indian Flying is an additional uh, channel of offline branches, 4400 branches for that matter. So in this case, even the quantity is good uh, for IFL. But if you talk about quality as well, there is a stark difference in terms of the turnaround time, in terms of the personalization of communication, in terms of the skill set of the executives. So there is a decent amount of time and money spent by India Infoline when it comes to uh, making sure that the executive talk in a way that sounds professional and consistent with company beliefs. Fires is learning, it's evolving and certainly by time they can get that stage as well. But still as of now if you're looking to pick one in terms of customer service you can go ahead with India Infoline. Then we have research and trading products. Now Imagine yourself, you're a beginner, then you would need some sort of initial hand holding in terms of what stocks to buy, when to buy, when to sell. At the same time, you can look for an advisory service, which is professional in nature, might charge you 50,000, 60,000 a month, or maybe lesser as well uh, for smaller plants. But they also give you tips and research on a regular basis. Full service brokers has the have the uh, sort of uh, imbibed value when they provide you all kinds of tips and recommendations across uh, sectors at both technical and fundamental level. India Infoline is known for high accuracy as well. So what you can do is if you're a beginner, instead of going directly with the advisory service, you can check out a full service stock broker that provides decent recommendations. India Infoline is certainly one of those. Fires, fires doesn't do that. Discount brokers generally do not provide any kind of tips and recommendations and fires with fires rather you will be all on your own in terms of analysis uh, for technical or fundamental levels. Trading segments you cannot trade at IPO at commodity level if you're a client who want to be a client of fires. India Infoline does not have that limitation. You can trade across equity mutual funds, IPO currency, commodity and four to five other investment classes. Then we have some other features but whether you need these features is the question you must be asking yourself. Yourself. If you do, then certainly you can check out these uh, variations. Otherwise, we can talk about the different trading platforms we have in place uh, given to the clients by FIRES as well as India Infoline. So starting the mobile application of FIRES called FIRES Market. Now it is a 3.8 by around 250 users out of which around 22% uh, have rated this app negatively. But we also want to tell you that FIRES actually had a good start. They had a decent start when it comes to the focus of technology. They were marketing themselves as a high tech sort of a trading platform based uh, store broker in India. But now like we see uh, 6 to 8 months or 10 months down the line, they are more or less on a similar level. The technology has not evolved much. Um, the trading applications they offered at that point in time have not really seen a regular and high up updates in terms of providing quality values in terms of features, user experience to their clients. 3.8 is a pretty bad rating for a store broker that uh, has a high proposition value of technology in its marketing uh, sort of message. Well, if you talk about the update frequency, the last one was done on 11th of December 2017. Generally, they update the mobile app in a range of around 4 to 5 weeks, which can be uh, dimmed down to let's say 3 to 4 weeks, if not uh, less. Number of installs are not that high, 10,000 to 50,000. There are concerns. Now, guest login, if you want to do it, has its own limitations, its own concerns. The charts they provide to you do not have a 15 minute time frame. So if you are somebody who wants to perform technical analysis with 15 minute of uh, time duration, you don't really have that sort of uh, uh, luxury. 
Then when it comes to charts, Heiken Ashi charts is a pretty much required chart for an intermediate to heavy level trader. Well, that is not available. The number of uh, indicators are also limited. So uh, as long as you are a beginner level or intermediate level trader, it's okay. But if you want to perform high uh, high end technology or other technical analysis, in that particular case, you are going to hit a wall very soon from multiple aspects, be it number of charts, number of technical indicators, loading of charts, or uh, for that matter the uh, time frame so we will recommend you I mean you can use it as long as you are beginner but there are a lot other competitive mobile trading applications out there that you can use that you can explore and then figure out yourself now IFL gives you IFL markets much older application but has a very quick update frequency cycle rated at 4.3 by look at the sample size here 22,700 users out of which around 7% have rated this app negatively 93% satisfaction score puts it easily in the top 3 mobile trading applications in India if you look at the update frequency the last one was done similar level 11th of December 2017 update frequency is 2 weeks number of installs 1 million to 5 million there are concerns when it comes to connectivity but that comes when you are living in a village or a fourth tier city or your internet connection bandwidth is limited otherwise this application is highly recommended what you can do is they have a smooth guest login you can check that out um, use the internet connection that you will actually use in your trades do not use a Wi-Fi use your mobile sort of an internet connection test it out see the number of features in the guest login the way it works the navigation flows the user experience the speed multiple things you want to check out the charting functionality how it loads number of charts multiple types of things are there check them out and decide for yourself Similarly, if you talk about the other trading platforms offered by India Info Line, we are using the reference of ourdigitalblogger.com. So they give you IFL Trader Terminal. This is a terminal-based solution, needs to be downloaded and installed onto your computer and laptop. Once you do that, it can help you to start your trading. It's a .NET based framework. You need to install that. And number of features are pretty exhaustive. Number of charts are good. Technical indicators are more than 100. Since it's a full service broker, then it's going to give you tips, recommendations, market calls with Within the trading platform it allows you to personalize and customize different widgets onto your dashboard you can transfer funds with more than 40 prominent banks in India so from number of features perspective user experience speed and performance this application is highly recommended IFL markets is the mobile application we have just talked about it certainly recommended mobile application they also have a web-based browser application called IFL trader terminal web now it is available only on browsers so you don't need to download install anything you can go to a mobile go to your laptop tablet or a desktop uh, web, go to the website of India and fly and click on login and you will be directed to this particular page put in your client ID password and you can get started with your trades number of features are limited speed is okay speed is not a problem but if you are a beginner to an intermediate level trader this application is decent enough otherwise you're gonna hit uh, gonna uh, hit a wall pretty soon when you're going to perform a technical analysis so within India and fly you can use the mobile application or the terminal based solution without any concern whatsoever now let's see what fires has to offer and whether it is good enough to compete with this broker here so as we just mentioned that fires uh, market in itself as high-tech so that this did not just limit to the mobile application they have other sort of solutions as well fires one is another example terminal based solution decent application in terms of speed number of features for technical analysis um, so if you're an intermediate to a heavy level trader you can check that out it certainly goes good for you fires markets mobile application around average or below average not much of a recommendation there there. at the same time they also have a web-based browser application called fire so web trader very lightweight in nature at the same time number of features are going to be less as well so if you're living in a smaller city then it's a good application for you because it's gonna take less internet connection bandwidth but at the same time you will be able to perform your trade but not high-end technical analysis will be uh, available for you so these are the different trading applications available for its clients as far as the recommendation goes you can check out fire so one the terminal based solution other basic applications are pretty average in nature so that is it as far as comparison between fires and indian infoline is concerned we talked about multiple features here starting from company background pricing brokerage service research trading products trading platforms now you have to see what you want 
based on that you can make a suggestion or selection rather for yourself if you want a recommendation from our and in finalizing a stock broker that matches exactly with your requirements or let's say you're a beginner you have no idea which stock broker to start with you can check out this link here earnsetblogger.com slash free stock broker suggestion we will be providing this link in the description of the video once you click on this put your details and your preferences we will be setting up a call back for you absolutely free so that's it for the video thank you so much for watching it we hope you liked it in case you did please go ahead and press the thumbs icon we really really appreciate that you can also subscribe to us like us follow us on facebook twitter tumblr slideshare and youtube with the same handle a digital blogger where we post content on a regular basis thank you so much again bye bye